Hey there everyone, Shawspire here with another quick VTuber or streamer support guide. Uh, this guide is going to be for how to add a heart rate monitor to your stream, but with the caveat that all you have is an old smartwatch or Fitbit, something like that laying around. Um, of course, if you have the ability to use it, there is a program called Pulsoid, um, which works with a variety of devices. Um, however, it does only work with certain ones. So if you do have a device that works with that, I would highly suggest you use that app. Um, but this is going to be for people that might have a bit of a scuffed equipment and just want to kind of make it work for one or two streams, or just this is the only way they have to do it and they're kind of on a budget. So without further ado, this is how you're going to go about it. You're going to need three things. You're going to need a smartphone. You're going to need a smartwatch or health watch, kind of like a Fitbit. And you're going to need the Windows Phone Link app, which most newer Windows will already have installed. But if you don't, you can just go get it on the Windows Store. It's free. Um, so without further ado, this is what it'll look like. Um, so basically, you're going to open up the Phone Link and you're going to link your smartphone. And you just basically have to scan a QR code and it'll work. So this is what it'll work, look like after you download it. Um, so... All you have to do is go to your smartwatch uh, app. So for me, it's going to be Fitbit. So I'm just going to open that up here for us all. And you're going to see something like this. So this is all we need because as you can see, we want to get the uh, heart rate monitor. So uh, you can see I'm at 86 beats per minute right now. Um, so to add that, all you're going to have to do is add the uh, Fitbit window as a window capture. So you're going to do that and it's just going to basically pop up on your screen like this. So you can then just crop it. Now you can do this really easily in OBS Studio just by holding the Alt key and dragging a box. So if you do this, you can just get just the number. See, now we have our heart rate monitor in this handy box. Um, now, if you don't care what it looks like, congratulations, you're done. That's it. That's your heart rate. But if you want to make it look a little bit nicer or something, you can even go to the point of, uh, you know, getting like a heart image, for example, right? So this is just a GIF. You can grab it on, you know, Google um, and throw it on there. Um, oops, sorry. So we're just going to blow that up a little bit. So all you're going to have to do then is if you want to make this look nice is you're just going to right click um, and we're just going to go back to my last scene here just so you can kind of follow along right so we're going to do the same thing we're going to crop the box there we go you can keep the beats per minute in if you want not a big deal there we go so I'm going to close this and then we're going to get into a little bit of uh, infinite land here, but it's just temporarily. So as you can see, we got V2 uh, OBS in the back here. So right click on your number and what you're going to want to go to is filters. So as you can see, the whole windows popped up here, but what you're going to want to add is a color key. And what you're going to do is you're just going to select a custom color and you're gonna make it white. Um, and as you can see, it's taking out everything there. So you can just kind of play with the smoothness of everything, the similarity. Um, and basically all you're trying to do is just get to a nice point where it's just the numbers. Um, if you want, you can even reverse it by making the brightness all the way to the max. So let's say we want to have white. So as you can see, if I put this on the top, it shows my heart rate. Um, and just kind of like I showed you before, if you want to do something like that, you can add this. So as you can see, it's now cropped on top of it. Uh, the background's gone. And you can just kind of do a similar thing and right click on the heart and just the same, go to filter, add, color key and then make this one black um, after you add that you don't even really have to play with any of the settings just make it black and it'll pop up just like that so you can kind of 
play with the size a little bit just so it fills a little bit more of the heart. And then what you're going to do is you're going to group those two things together so that they scale the same. Uh, you can do that just by selecting both. You can control click them and you can group selected items. And now they're going to be linked together. So now you can put it over your VTuber or yourself and just kind of put it like that and just add kind of like a cute heart rate monitor. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions at all on how to make this work or you're having issues, I'll try my best to help you out. Feel free to send me a DM on Twitter or just uh, kind of comment in the YouTube link. Anyway, I hope that's been helpful. If anyone uh, needs anything else, get a hold of me. But like, like I said, it's pretty, uh, pretty easy. Um, and if you don't have equipment or a lot of money to buy something specific and it's just kind of a one-off stream, this is a pretty decent uh, method to go about. So anyways, everyone take care. Have a very lovely day and uh, never keep aspiring to improve yourself, improve your stream, and just try something different. Take care. Bye-bye.